tackle, Ricky. Not reckless, but aggressive. Method in what he's doing, and they're not good quality punches, but he's been caught. This is better. Coming untidy, Dave Parrish trying to tidy it up. Ricky's still been caught on the way in. Trying to wrap up yes, you on the inside. And the Russian born Aussie the is having some bad oh, moves. Another one. Three, three, three in the top. The other phases in this fight. His round. Both oh. so far from Ricky Hunt. Walk Walk right right hand. Hand. Yep, right from the start of the round. And another. another one. Off the stool and straight into Hugh's right hand. Says another one. He's measuring them. Oh, he can't miss him with the right hand, Ian. I think the first one stunned him a bit. Beginning to find them now. A good punch. Against Jake Rodriguez ten years ago. There's that right hand again, Ian. He's done it every round. What is Ricky thinking of? Now he starts to lift it again. Look at the design. And he drives you back. You just feel something's got to give sometime soon, don't you? Yeah, oh, that's oh, a no. I would imagine yet he's been told that is the last warning. Oh, that was a lot. That was another low one. He yeah, might be in trouble there. Very low one. It's pretty old by then, mind you. There's another left. Ricky Hatton has made them work every second of every round, and he's been caught with full body punches, and his head's gone back. He's looking a little. Still good shots from him, mind you, there. Yeah, but not too many these days. Love his hat. to stay cool, lost his balance there. Shu is just keeping him in there at the moment. Oh, that's a good shot from Shu there. He might look to come on. For the plan, sit on his chest, to steal it all the way through the fight. They can work every second. Another way like Paris is talking. The shoe has gone in, it's over! The dream is made real! Ricky Hatton rocks the world with a truly stunning win over a modern legend. He is the champion of the world! And in terms of one-punch knockout power in boxing, Donaire's hook to the head is as good as any. I think Donaire's cut Ten now. seconds, stop at the bell. Hard right hand by Walters. Body shots by Walters. Got in a right cross. Jab lamps for Walters. Limp hook for Walters and left hooks for Donaire. Second left hook hurt Walters. Never hook with a hooker. <laughs> Donaire won that round. I mean, you know, you do that to a guy, you have him drunk, walking around the ring drunk. You won the round, I don't care what happened before. Right, and, and he got him drunk at about the 256 mark, but it's good enough. Good enough. And now Donaire's on the hunt. He knows he can hurt Walters, and he's out. A knockout punch. If the other guy lands the jab, you're still in the fight. But you lose the battle of the hook, oh, the fight's over. That was right. Two quick left, oh. left hooks inside by Walters. Now Donaire lands the left hook. Oh, Maybe good right hand. See, the right hand is kind of a slapping right. Not as straight as the left hand. Left. Oh, oh. oh. That was a good was good enough to knock Donaire down. So now both fighters have had a big moment. Walters just a little bit better because he got Donaire to the canvas. That jab setting everything up for Walters. Good left hook by Donaire. Walters lands the right hand again. And they're both going for broke. What a firefight for him. got the crowd's attention. Spears him again with the right hand. Walters left hook not as effective at close range like that. Quick left hook inside, lands for Donaire. Donaire now Walters kick. lands another in return. He's the guy that gets the advantage. He just called Donaire first. He made another it, hard right hand by Walters. Donaire gets in a left hook. Walters with two more right hands, and Donaire is down again. And I don't know if he'll get up this time, Jim. I don't think he will. I know he won't get up this time, Jim. Seven, eight. He won't get up this time. He's up, but Raul Caiz is going to stop it. Nicholas Walters has seized. Donaire's portion of the featherweight title. And that could be the end of the top flight run of one of the significant fighters of the last several years in the lighter weight classes, Nonito Donaire, and the birth of a featherweight star in Nicholas Walters. Hopkins can see that Trinidad only want to land a hard shot, nothing else. And that's a dangerous position to be in when you're in the ring with a guy. Knowing that he's intent. Hard right hand by Hopkins, biggest blow in the fight. Trinidad momentarily stunned. Bell, 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 bell. Bell, bell, bell. Trinidad opens up, lands two power shots. Hopkins tries to fire back immediately. Trinidad misses with the right. Hopkins lands his own. Backstreet up, fires the left hook. Trinidad.
not oh, no, getting no, no, as no. good as he pitches out. Most of the rallies. Yeah, but Hopkins has used a lot of his footwork. Legs up, moving around. That's not good. He's got his back against the ropes. He's living dangerously. He's still outscoring Trinidad. He's landing punch, two punch, punches punch, punch. to everyone for step, Trinidad. Step, 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 step. Champ Trinidad, that you're gonna knock it, have to knock him out to win it. You may as well forget trying to win this thing on point. Remember Trinidad's amazing stamina. Hopkins lands a right, Trinidad lands a left. Felix is a marathon runner who builds the tempo from round to round, and he's trying to build it with the left hook right here. Four straight left hands by Trinidad. You know, there are a lot of people out there who never heard of Bart Bernard Hopkins. He hasn't had a lot of big television fights. <laughs> We're hearing about him and seeing him now. You're seeing the hunger of a 36-year-old man who's it's waited a long time for this moment. A geriatric wonder. Tito yeah, gets I'd him like against the ropes. I'd like to see what happened in the 10, 11, and 12 with the geriatrics. Hopkins believes whether Trinidad will be able to beat the belief out of him remains to be seen. But right now, Bernard is showing a multiplicity of skills as he continues to outbox Tito's neck. Bernard lands a straight right hand up the pipe. He's able to hit him with the right hand and move out of the way. And there's another big right hand. And again, he moves out of the way. Very smart. Didn't say, I heard you. I'm going to get you some more. Hit you and get out of the way. And another right hand for Hopkins. This is a cold, clinical, totally professional performance. Taking punishment. We're seeing that the mark he won of a real champion in Trinidad because he's come through some serious fire. This is the determination of Felix Trinidad. Trinidad is going to have to take some chances. And if you want to manage by the determination of Bernard Hopkins, what an awesome show. What a great, great fight as we come down the stretch in the 10th Ooh. round. Blood coming out of Trinidad's nose. Most of the crowd on its feet as they watch the two fighters trade through the round and beyond. Oh, huge right hand. Huge right hand by Hopkins. Down goes Trinidad. Oh. Oh. I'm not sure Tito Six. can get up. He's got the Seven. desire. He's Eight. never been knocked out. Nine. This fight is over. Steve Smoker stops it. No. Bernard Tito Trinidad comes in. Has and done it. He knocked out Trinidad. Bernard Hopkins stopped. has put himself up there in the list of all the great middleweights. His 14th consecutive defense of his title. Trinidad a beaten man. He was beaten boxing and then he was beaten physically. He was beaten with the smarts of Bernard Hopkins. He was beaten with the heart of Bernard Hopkins. What a performance. I'd like to find my words so I could eat them. <laughs>